Today we're going to be talking about backing. When you're doing backing, it's important to bring the dog in where he's upwind of the bird in the launcher. This is not a scent drill, it's a visual drill. So by bringing the dog in where the wind is blowing from the dog to the backer, he can't smell the bird that's in the launcher. We're going to bring the dog in, we're going to pop up the remote backer so the dog sees it, say whoa, and then we're going to launch a bird. The reason we want to launch a bird is to create style for the dog. By always seeing the backer and a bird coming up, he will always anticipate there's going to be a bird, and that's what's going to make him look good when he backs. So you just bring him in on a check cord, you're going to say whoa, eventually you're going to drop whoa, and just the backing dog itself becomes the command for the dog to back. So let me get a dog and I'll show you how we're going to do it. So remember, it's very important that your dog first knows what woe means. You wouldn't bring him on a backer and then say woe if he doesn't know what woe means. So you teach woe in your yard training, when you taught woe and the dog understands what it means, then at that point you'd say woe in your backer. When we take the dog away, we're going to lower the backer and then take him away because we don't want to ever pull him off the back and say it's okay to leave it. Atta boy. Good job. All right. 